What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So for today's video, we're going to be coming back to the first lockdown trail that I built. You can watch the videos up here, catch up on all of that. But today we're back on this trail because it needs a little bit of love. And you can see this berm is actually quite high up originally. It's started to just get battered by the rain. There's a couple puddles I'm going to try. There was a big one here, but it seems to have gone. So drainage isn't terrible but it just needs a bit more building up. I'm gonna squash this down quite a lot because a lot of it seems to have slipped and it's not the right way to build. You should really compact it and then build up. But the rest of the trail's looking pretty good. We might have a quick look at it and see what else we can do with the trail. But for now, it's just gonna be a moderately short video. I reckon of just servicing this berm getting it back to being rideable. Also guys, a small percentage of the people that watch my videos are actually subscribe to my channel. So if you end up enjoying this video, consider giving me a sub. I've got loads more videos, lots more coming. Get in on the adventure. First port of call is to chop it away and stamp on the back of it. Make sure it's nice and compact before we start digging more soil up. So just doing all that stamping down is now giving it a much more solid base to hopefully be able to build on. This side of it will now be quite a bit weaker, as you can see. It might seem like I'm just destroying it, but I can put a new face on it once I've done this. Now we have a really nice solid base that is actually like solid to stand on, back's patted down. Now I'm going to start placing more dirt, digging from there, placing it up, slowly building it back up to the same similar size I reckon. Looking good so far. So yeah, time to get the pickaxe out, chop away here, start chucking over here. You guys might have noticed the hoodie that I'm wearing today and this is actually my own brand called Descent. I've been working on this for a little while now and the website has just gone live. All of the designs are running on a bit of a pixel art mountain biking 8-bit theme and I've done all the designs myself. It would mean the world to me if you guys would check it out. There's a link in the description below. All of the sales directly support me and my channel so check it out guys. Cheers. So now we've chopped quite a lot of soil out to be fair. Look at the size of these rocks. So now that's going to go on here. As I do it layer by layer, I'm going to pat it down, make it nice and solid. Then hopefully you'll be able to ride the berm higher because it'll all be solid in the centre and not just a small skin of solid on the outside, if that makes sense. So yeah, let's get the shovel out and put it all here. So I'm hearing some thunder. It's gonna absolutely start hammering it down soon. But let's just keep going. It's already started raining. We've already put the first layer on, patted it down. Now more soil needs to come over and we'll just keep doing that until it's a good shape. It just went so dark. I don't know if you can tell from that time lapse, but it's properly raining now, but I'm gonna just keep going. It might make the berm actually pat down better, which is a good thing. Crazy though, how dark it's gone. Hopefully the footage isn't too grainy. So, put more on. It's gonna be a rinse and repeat of that. It's a hell of a lot stronger now, which is sick. I think I'm gonna try and take this stone out 
I kind of worry that it's going to be the size of the berm and rip it out. But I'm going to just have to carry on doing what I've been doing. The rain is coming down. It's literally like a monsoon. <laughs> Nice river forming down the trail now. Oh, try not to fall over. It's like a regular occurrence building, I might fall over. <laughs> it's starting to look good now. Just needs so much more doing to it though. Nice, it's looking a lot better now. And it's so much more solid as well. Just by doing that stamping on it, properly solid. Won't be losing a front wheel through that. Really pleased. Shame about the weather, but it's kind of easing off a bit now, even though I'm completely drenched through. So that stone that I was worried would take ages to get out just pulled straight out which is really handy because it was kind of there that it needed to dig down a bit more it's hard to show it but that was like a big lump so I can now chop that and use that to make this main bit of the berm a bit bigger it's looking great now though when it rains this stuff turns to like cement so it's probably a blessing in a way that it has rained that kind of shows how much better it is and it's also going to pack down really well which is sick so that stone can go up with the other ones we'll be using that for another feature later on in this series Look at that, sun's come out. Well worth holding out for. How sick is this though? It looks so much better than when I first built it. Just the middle needs a bit of attention because it dips, so that needs squashing, more stuff throwing on. But it's, in the first video when I rode it, my front wheel almost went through it. But now, that is solid as. Let's squash the top of this middle bit down there's more material on it but hopefully as I've been saying doing this whole squashing down putting on will make it a lot stronger in the long run which means we won't have to be doing this again for a while until we make a massive drop into it there you go nice and squashed down on the top what a beauty So I can safely say this is infinitely better than the first button. Look at that. It's just enough to get you around the corner. Again, probably looks like nothing on GoPro, which is an absolute pain, but it's coming together real nice. And now that nasty rocks out of the way, we can probably start when I next ride it, look at doing this inside line that I wanted to do over these routes. And then I think what we're gonna do is just keep, whoa, keep revisiting this trail and I want to originally I wanted to drop there I think that's going to be put in because that would be such a sick feature but it's looking really good one thing I do need to buy is a shovel that has a flat face on it so I can really smooth these berms out because you can see it's not even which doesn't matter to me massively but 
for the sake of just buying a shovel to improve it probably worth it to be honest so it just needs a little bit more building up and then i think it's looking good to be honest So let's have a look at it. How sick does that look? GoPro is definitely squashing it, but that looks so, so much better now. Hopefully it will hold up a lot better. Let's have a look from the top. But that looks so cool. What do you reckon, guys? Definitely looks better, that's for sure. Learning as we go. So if you guys enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to my channel. If you hit the bell button next to it, that notifies you when I post a video. Let me know in the comments what you think below. And of course, hit that like button. Come on up with some recommended videos from me and I'll catch you again next time, guys. Cheers for tuning in.